Thank you for visiting the Coin Series channel again. Following tradition, we will talk about Adrian Terconis' appointment as Ripple's Senior Vice President of Products today. We will also talk about another cooperation with a central bank, this one in Ireland. In conclusion, I will present an analysis of the market and an overview of BTC XRP. So, let's get started. Ripple unexpectedly promoted Medico CEO to the position of Senior Vice President of Product. Former Medico CEO Adrian Trico is currently a Senior Vice President at Ripple, the parent company. In May, Ripple, a blockchain firm, acquired Medico for $250 million. Even though Ripple became the startup's sole stakeholder, Medico assured in an official release confirming the acquisition that both firms would continue to operate independently. Adrian Tricone, who founded and is now CEO of Medico, will continue to operate the business independently. There appears to have been a shift in operating policy after seven months. The astute ex-user and XRP enthusiast Rath Off Cannon was the first to notice. Senior VP of Product Adrian Troyendi has been promoted to the post at Reverberation. An announcement regarding Ripple's 2024 Bitcoin market prediction was made in the company's most recent blog post. I will not dwell on that. Medico was involved in one of the previous videos, which I'm reading out to you. Despite the lack of official word, fresh evidence suggests that Medico and Ripple have made a small adjustment to their operational policies. This outcome is not entirely surprising, given that Ripple is the sole shareholder in Machakos's company. The question that has been on everyone's mind, though, is the impact on Ripple and XRP. The broad usage of crypto custody, blockchain solutions, and metal certificates of exchange COEs, is one strategy that Ripple might employ to entice big customers and integrate its payment network. Staff members are working closely together, which bodes well for a successful outcome, even though there has been minimal development in that area. Rumor has claimed that Ripple may shift its focus away from its XRP-based core payment network and onto crypto custody if that revenue stream becomes more significant. Although there is no proof that this has happened or will happen, XRP supporters are worried that this would hurt XRP holders. More details regarding Ripple's operational policy regarding Mexico and possible acquisitions will have to wait. Both companies are still helping the project's ecosystem grow which is good for Ripley's financial line. Adrian Trico's hiring as senior vice president of product at Ripple has changed the dynamics within the company and its connection with Medico. Trico served as CEO of Medico before. Since Traconis's new position at Ripple is in favor of this. Rather than Medica functioning independently under Ripple's ownership, it seems that the two firms are more integrated than initially thought. This is reminiscent of how it subtly but significantly increases its influence over an acquired startup to enhance operational synergy. In order to maximize the return on investment, it is common practice for operational strategies to be adjusted following an acquisition. Because of this deeper connection, a lot of things might shift. The institutional offerings of Ripple would be substantially improved if the company could leverage banks' expertise in crypto custody and blockchain solutions. When Ripple gets Medico solutions integrated into their platform, attracting larger institutional investors might raise XRP's value and usability by increasing the number of people using its payment network. Those who have XRP, however, are concerned that Ripple may begin to prioritize its crypto custody and other services above its primary payment network. If current XRP holders have a financial stake in the success of the XRP-based payment network, they may be uneasy about a shift in focus at Ripple. It is logical to anticipate that inquiries concerning Ripple's operational policies will emerge in view of this hire. Within the dynamic and fiercely competitive world of digital currency and blockchain technology, companies frequently face the challenge of responding to shifting market conditions, new technologies, and emerging opportunities by modifying their plans and making necessary course corrections. Ripple has registered to offer virtual asset services in the Irish market. As a provider of virtual assets VAs, Ripple is now permitted to do business in Ireland by the Central Bank of Ireland CBI. 
A recent press release from San Francisco-based fintech business Ripple detailed an advancement that will enable the provision of some digital asset services in Ireland. Among these services is assistance with the buying, selling, and transferring of virtual assets. The current listing of Ripple Markets Ireland LTD, Ripple's Irish subsidiary. On the registry of virtual asset service providers is the rationale behind the issuance of the license in Ireland. Vendors on the CBI website. The completion of this registration marks a significant achievement for Ripple, paving the way for its expansion in the European market. When crypto asset and marketplace laws finally take effect next year, my CA will be running at full steam ahead. Additional licenses are necessary for Ripple to fulfill the criteria of the MICA framework. Ripple established its first EU office in Dublin in February of last year. Capitalizing on Ireland's innovation-friendly environment. The CBI has been encouraging of the virtual assets industry since its 2018 launch of an innovation hub, which also facilitates informal communication between the regulator and fintech companies. The latest registration that Ripple gained demonstrates Ireland's continued support for enterprises focused on digital assets and blockchain. Ripple's managing director for Europe hinted in July that the firm was contemplating an application for an Irish license. Alta Rodi, Ripple CLO Steward Disclosed last year that the firm is seeking an Irish permission to operate as a virtual asset service provider in light of legal uncertainty in the US. The organization has successfully achieved this compliance milestone for 2023. Commenting on the announcement, Eldorado emphasized that the company's outstanding development this year has been sustained by virtue of the Irish license. He also mentioned the progress Ripple has made this year in obtaining operational permits. The extraordinary progress made in 2023 was capped off by his tweet that Ripple has been approved as a registered VASP to provide compliant cryptocurrency services by the Central Bank of Ireland. This year, we were granted a complete major payments institution license by the Monetary Authority of Singapore. Additionally, licensing institutions within the Dubai International Financial Center can use XRP according to the Dubai Financial Services Authority. We are ecstatic that Ripple Markets has been acknowledged as a VASP by the CBI, stated Eric Van Miltenberg. SVP of Strategic Initiatives at Ripple This is a tremendous victory for our local company. As part of its global efforts to partner with authorities and bring the benefits of blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies to companies and their customers, Ripple's is fighting for registration in Ireland. An October 2023 news release states that the Singaporean subsidiary of Ripple's was awarded a payment license by the Monetary Authority of Singapore, the country's central bank. U.S. authorities granted 35 of Ripple's money transmitter licenses this year. The Dubai Financial Services Authority, TSA, also gave the go light to XRP's use inside the DIFC in November 2023. This paves the way for virtual asset businesses, licensed by the DIFC, to use XRP. Ripple has recently registered as a virtual asset service provider in Ireland, which is a significant strategic move, considering the US legal landscape. In my opinion, this is a tremendously positive development for Ripple's plan to expand globally. They are so innovative and adaptable that they have chosen to establish their business in Ireland. A country with comparatively permissive restrictions. Since the central bank inaugurated its innovation hub in 2018, showing its openness to fintech innovation, Ireland has become an attractive site for digital asset and blockchain firms. By purchasing the large register, Ripple is accomplishing more than just expanding its reach. Aligning with a regulatory framework that benefits its business is also important. Ripple is moving to a better place to grow, like a plant looking for sunshine. Works by increasing its impact. Expansion into neighboring nations, such as Ireland, provides a protective barrier. Being a fully regulated large payments institution in Singapore and having XRP certified for usage by the Dubai Financial Services Authority are two compliance goals in 2023 that demonstrate Ripple's well-defined plan for global compliance and expansion. Businesses in the cryptocurrency sector are increasingly trying to add up to the legislation of different nations, and Ripple's decision is just one example of this trend.
A fundamental component to the long TERM viability of digital assets is cooperation with authorities and compliance, which has prompted this movement. In the beginning, the industry was more reluctant or even opposed to regulation, but now they're on the ball. Lastly, vibrations. When the necessary regulatory processes, including registration in Ireland, are finished in 2023, the country will have reached a turning point in its global strategy. Through actively engaging with the proper regulatory bodies and securing the necessary permissions. At the same time as it is improving its operational abilities, Ripple is solidifying its position as an innovative and lawful player in the digital asset market. The market summary is now available. Bitcoin was able to overcome the imbalance by consolidating above the 43,860 barrier. This is how the zigzag pattern turned out. As I have mentioned before, the momentum remained at the support level. Nearly 41,927 soon after, we settled on 44k. The degree of outstanding domination also rose. Presently, it's getting close to 54% unless you're a short seller, in which case it's bad news for you, now is the moment to step away from Bitcoin. Altcoins will start to provide good rewards if its dominance begins to decline. The price of XRP has been rising consistently for the past few hours, and its upward trend from the crucial support level of 0.5951 has been sustained. Level 0.6336 will be our next stop once we establish a foothold at the similarly important level of 0.6204. We are eagerly awaiting Bitcoin to achieve specific levels, since this enormous reservoir of liquid assets is currently sitting at 0.6513 and is growing. If it happens, the outlook will only improve, maybe reaching 0.7166. Today is my last. Like and subscribe, please. Goodbye for now.